In a certain sense, I can't see past the project I'm doing. It is all encompassing. I, uh, I worked for eight months, which isn't even that long, really, in the grand scheme of things, but I worked eight hours a day for eight months Jeez. on the symphony to get to the first draft, and then a full year refining it with an orchestrator I collaborated yeah, with. Yeah. To, uh, yeah. uh, I had it recorded with the best people. Half of them are from the New York City Ballet Orchestra at the Lincoln Center. I mean, everything was there, I feel. I mean, again, I'm, I'm the artist, so I can't be completely, uh, I can't really see my work, and I probably shouldn't see my work. And, you know, I'm obviously tainted by you know, my, own, my own impressions of my work. Uh, but as far as everyone around me, the conductor, the, some members of the orchestra, the orchestrator, the producer, uh, it was a great work of art and should have been placed at least in like a, like, I won't want to say commercial, but a film or TV or something. So if somebody said to you as, as grossly as possible, why are you famous, you would say they're wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I, if, if, if famous is achieving everything, achieving your dream and having your work celebrated, I'm, I like partial success. So, I, so the question of, Fame is interesting because you make all of your income off this one thing that you do. Maybe that's success, not fame. Uh, if, is it uh, how many people know about you, um, the, pop, the populace? You know, that could be like a definition of fame. Um, do you have a cult following? Yes, we do. So in that sense, we're famous. Because <laughs> we've done so many films now. Let's grab onto that. That's, yeah. that's what I, what, where else can it go except to... Um, you know, it would be that, that 299 million of us talk yeah. about 1 million of us, right? Yeah. Or even yeah, maybe yeah. less. 299, Probably 500,000 talks about 500,000 of us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And now I think we're quickly getting to 290 million talking about 10 million of us. Sure. And so where can it be in, in 20, 30 years, except that it's, you know, getting close to like 75, 25 or something? Yeah, you're like right. That. So I... how, how else can we define it? And that's the big joke of this whole thing that I'm saying is like, how else can we really define it right. except? terms like cult following, terms like being able to support myself, terms like being able to wake up and do what I care about every day. Yeah, yeah. And, not, and, and being able to, like we said in the beginning, keep what sacrosanct and balance that with some element of, of, of worldly capability. Right. Well, in a sense, we didn't survive the internet age even though we're not old. Uh, we are, we are, our films were on actual videotape and actual video stores all around the country. And we had people sending us pictures of like displays that we saw this well, year. This well, the first feature was 2005. Uh, it was actually two two things were distributed in 2005. Our first feature in a short film collection, and people like would contact us. I had a friend who visited uh, Vietnam and Cambodia, and our film was prominently displayed in, with Hollywood Films in the video store. Yeah. It had been translated into like four languages. Bootleg. Yeah. It was a bootleg, but it was an incredibly beautiful bootleg. It had a new cover, new DVD art. Uh, I know that tons of people saw it. The films have gotten so much press too. That's what really baffles me about why. I mean, we have a tiny cult fall. I'm not saying we're like, you know, don't qualify. Like, yeah, exactly. You're good. Qualify. There's just things that have happened that have kind of baffled us. There's some bad luck. Like our film Glitch in the Grid was featured for like a month or two prominently when Apple Trailers was like bigger, when everyone went there to see had a banner and uh, our distributor didn't get the VOD streaming in time, so we lost most of our sales. Um, we, were on the cup, we were on the front page of IMDb. Like this kind of stuff, I don't even know how that happened because I was the main PR person and I just doggedly emailed and sent hundreds and hundreds of screeners uh, our film Imagination got reviewed by 60 critics. We had all this stuff that happened, and I was like, why? But why? Like, why? Like, not that it, it has to, not that it defines who we are, like, that I have to have some sort of self, uh, you know, I don't know, like, that, that people have to. I'm not, it's, it's not that I I'm, get what you mean. You can, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know what you mean. It's not that. You, that but you could have been able to do it. You yeah, wanted yeah, to yeah. just be able to do it and not right. worry about it. Yeah, we're just always, let's just do it, and, and then I'll get the next one, and then I don't have to worry about yeah. hunting for it. Exactly. Yeah.